Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're gonna take on the Shadow of Runation again because uh, I feel like uh, like Gumi and Square Enix they like using that boss especially for the Fan Festa so it's this Isoka or Inoka whatever her name is wait I have it right here uh, what's her name what's her name Asiko so we're fighting Asiko again but basically this one has a little bit of twist so basically you're gonna fight Asiko right here the first time and then there's gonna be a second stage to the fight this is the party we're bringing in and uh, I gotta say Ram is gonna be really really good actually I want the music in both my ears so right here uh, obviously I have Orlando right here which is a six star but uh, that's still okay so we're gonna see do we have enough no so first things first you want to make sure that the boss is always broken because uh, if you break her basically she's gonna be able to do less and less stuff so we're gonna give MP back to the whole party right here BAM give some MP back Orlando's actually really really good here because we're gonna be able to use him to break the attack and magic for 45 by 45 percent for five turn and mine take note mine is only a six star I don't know, I never got a second of him, so basically mine's still a 6 star, but he's still really really good in this fight, and uh, basically we're going to be able to go right here. So, uh, what Folka needs to do, if, do I have enough MP? No, I don't have enough MP. So what we're going to do, we're just going to cast this right here, bam, and Ram, Ram, there's nothing much you can do right here, girl, so uh, we're just, uh, we're just going to go auto attack with both of them both of them actually you know what i want to i want to make sure i'm not screaming in my headset uh so yeah this boss is actually not that bad uh it just takes a little bit of time she drains your mp a lot so basically uh nicole was really good here because he was able to get his mp nice and high and uh yeah mr siege art is doing the right thing so basically she drained our mp that's not that bad and the good thing about rem is there's this move right here uh where is it where is it? So, she's going to be able to uh, to switch, transform her LB gauge into MP. And when she recovers MP, she basically recovers, I think it's 180 MP, which is really, 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 really good. So, uh, you know what? We're just going to go for this right here. We're going to make sure we're covering for everybody. And uh, with the whole party, we're just going to do some auto attacks because I want to try to build up my uh, limit burst gauge as much as possible to be able to give some MP back to the party after with rem because right now she's broken she's gonna do some damage but nothing crazy and we're gonna be able to survive and that's without any single buff on the party so take note that she once you break her attack and magic she is not gonna do that much damage on your party so right here this is really good rem this is where you become really good my girl bam we're gonna do with this so 180 mp to everybody uh we're gonna use these skills right here so we're gonna make sure that we have stop and basically defense spirit uh attack and magic breaks so we're gonna make sure that our party cannot be broken and uh i can see right here that our stats are lowered but it's okay because on the next turn what we're gonna do we're basically gonna remove those uh those things with um our girl Folka, because she's one amazing unit so uh we're gonna go for a full break charm because basically the first Asiko you're able to break or attack magic defense and spirit. Uh, with Nicole, we're going to start buffing our defense and spirit. Because after we're going to remove everything. And right here, we're just going to go for regular attacks. Build up that limit burst gauge just in case for Rem to be able to give MP to the whole party if we do need so. Is she doing anything else? Nope, nothing crazy. Alright, we're still under control. Uh, our HP is looking low on Orlando, but that's not bad because we got Ram right here. Uh, so we're going to go with this. So dual white magic. We're going to remove the defense and spirit break first. Because I want to do make sure I'm not taking that much damage. That's one of the most important thing right now. Uh, with Nicole, we're going to make sure that our dark resistance is up. And also, uh, we're going to do... You know what we're gonna boost our attack a little bit the first part is actually not that bad the second part becomes a little bit harder and here we're just gonna go for a nice big Karaga Karaja actually Karaga boom 
Let's get some HP back. Orlando's looking really good. Uh, nope, that's not the one I want. And basically, I decided the first time I did this fight, I actually brought a friend um, heal. Uh, it went well, but I feel like with uh, Aurora Frivia, having that 100% light and peril is so much better. It does so much more damage. But also, if you guys do have a... Uh, see, that's it's just the amount of damage. It's just out of this world. Out of this world. Uh, if you guys do have though a six star or a uh, seven star Orlando, make sure you use him because he is really really good in that fight. Having that forty five percent break to attack and magic is actually really 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 nice right here. So uh, this part right here, not that bad. Uh, Orlando's dead, but that doesn't matter. We're gonna be able to recuperate from that. Bam, it's okay. We're gonna be good. No worries. So right here. We're going to recover MP to the whole party. Boom. Just like that. We're going to be looking nice and good. Uh, let's see. So all our things are down. Uh, it's not the best case scenario. Because basically we can't do anything about her. So she is not broken. Which is not the best. But what we can do right here. Uh, we're going to try to remove. Hmm. Should we remove our defense and spirit break? Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. We're going to remove our defense and spirit break. Just to make sure we're not taking as much damage as we should. So, remove defense and spirit. Bam. With Mester Nicole, we're just going to boost our defense and spirit. To be able to take a little bit more damage. And, uh, Fravia, you know what? We're going to start doing a little bit of damage. We're going to dual cast this thing right here. Boom. So, uh, the second you kill those two little things right here, so these uh, spirits, the second you kill both of them in one shot, uh, she basically goes rampage and she decides to kill your whole party. So that you have to make sure it doesn't happen. If it does happen and you do plan on killing those little spirits, well, the good thing with Rem is you can cast an AoE revive on your whole party. So if everybody dies, they're going to come back to life. So that's one thing we can do. All right, so let's see what we got here. Uh, this is good. So we're going to be able to do a full break charm, which is really, really good. Boom. So we're going to do this right here. Uh, we're going to make sure that our party is not going to get broken anymore. Uh, should I do this or I just revive? You know what? We're going to go dual cast right here. We're going to do a raise and raise. Boom. Raise, raise. Let's get those units back up right now because we're going to need them and now we're going to go to cast this right here so we're going to make sure that our party is not going to get broken for the next five turns which is going to be really really good and uh, with Mr. Nicole you know what uh, I'm going to have to boost maybe we're just going to do this uh, no we're going to get some MP back to the whole party also so link stance we're going to do impregnable stance and we're going to restore MP for the whole party bam we're going to make sure that our MP goes up a little bit more because we do have to get rid of the, those two spirits. Or we're going to see if we can nuke her down nice and quickly. Because we are we are taking a lot of damage. But we're still controlling the fight. Nothing crazy happened to us. And we are looking really, really good. So right here uh, with Rem, we're just going to give some MP back to the whole party. Boom. Just like that. We're looking nice and good here. We're going to do a chain. I, I want to see how much damage we can do with her. With both of them, actually. So let's do a nice little chain here. Uh, take note that on this uh, phase, you cannot break her defense and spirit. So that's one thing we have to take care of. So you cannot break the defense and spirit. But let's see how much damage we can do on this turn. 8%, which is not that bad. Really not that bad. So here, uh, we're just going to cast I'm Gorgeous. Because... You are gorgeous, my friend. Uh, and here, you know what? We're going to go this. Boom. And uh, our party is looking kind of good. I would like to maybe remove the attack break. We have attack break on our parties. No, Orlando, you're good. Orlando, are you still good? Yeah, we're looking kind of good. All right. We're just... Sorry about that. We're just going to cast this right here. Water screen. Make sure our MP and HP is going back up. And with Mr. Nicole, I think it's time to uh, basically boost 
uh, all our things by maybe 150%. Is it this one? Nope. It's uh, this one right here, right? I want to make sure it's the right one. Yeah, so this one. We're going to boost our stats by 150%. Make sure we're not taking that much damage. And we're going to be able to survive. So now the trick is, basically with Falka, you want to make sure that your party is going to have uh, that defense, spirit, attack, and magic break resist, which is going to be really, really important. Uh, we're going to try to nuke her down, but also we need to kill those two spirits because they're going to keep healing her back up. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to start casting some re-rays on our party and I want to see how much damage I can do right here to this little monster. So we're going to go bam. Let's see how much damage we can do right here. Can we get the kill? Yes, we can get the kill. So what we're going to do with Rem, this nice little move right here. So we're going to cast Auto Revive on our whole party. And with Aurora Fravia, Double Flash, I want to make sure I'm going to kill this monster. So we're going to kill the spirit. Uh, there's nothing else to do with our units right here because we are probably going to die. But I just want to make sure. I I'm going to see if we can survive that. So we're going to go Link Stance. Impregnable Stance. Again, we're going to restore some MP. I want to see if we can survive that. So if we can survive, that's going to be really, really nice. I will destroy you. Deadly Thrust. Yeah, if you guys notice, I did take off the... Uh... Hey, we did survive. All right, that's really good. So we did survive. Auto revive was actually really, really nice. Uh, I took out the attack animation just because it was lagging my game a lot. So actually, you know what? We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it with this thing on battle effects. Back in full business. So time to do some damage. You guys do know what? We're gonna get some MP back to the whole party because this thing is amazing. Uh, let's see our missions fast, fast. So, I did evoke an Esper, but we can evoke an Esper right now. No items, which was is really good. And no Limit Burst. So right now, we're doing things really, really right. Uh, with Folka, because we do have the time, we're going to Flowing Waters and Sobering Waters. I want to make sure that this thing uh, stays up, basically for our damage dealers. That's the most important. You want to be able to do as much damage as possible. So we're going to keep this thing up. And basically here... On this character, only our attack and magic is broken. But that doesn't matter because we are not taking that much damage. That's really, really important. Uh, next things I want to see. This is good. We're just going to go for the full break charm once again. So basically for the next three turns, I want to make sure that she stays broken. Because don't forget, if she's not broken, her damage is going to be ridiculously high. And she's going to be able to drain even more MP from our party. So what we're going to do right here, we're going to boost our attack. And we're going to boost our, you know what, our dark resistance a little bit. Because we do have to make sure this thing's up. Right here, we're going to go for double flash. Flurus Radiance. Man, if you guys have Aurora Fravia, she is one amazing unit. Just because of that, there's no chain finish. But basically, you guys can see how much damage uh, she's able to do. Just because of that imperil, it makes her really, really, really strong. So let's see how much damage we can do to awaken a Seiko. As I'm taking a nice sip of coffee right here. Yeah, so we are doing a lot more damage. Like a lot more damage. So she's doing her dark attack. We have our dark resistance up. Our fight is looking really, really good. Next turn, we should be able to get her nice and low. We should be able to get her nice and low. This is looking really good. Alright, so we have two things we could do here. Basically, we're going to reload. I could basically use uh, Phoenix to try to nuke her down. So basically, we get the Esper evoked and uh, we get no items. And uh, you know what? We're going to try it. We're going to see if we can do this. I'm going to go with this. Cast Phoenix. Thank you for lagging my game a little bit. Beautiful Phoenix, you're in. We're going to chain... Did I miss that? Of course I did. Most probably I did. Even with the physical resist, she's still taking a lot of damage. But it doesn't matter. We did cast our Esper. Uh, that's one thing I could have checked already. But it doesn't matter. Right here, we're going to go for Gorgeous. I am Gorgeous. I want to make sure that this thing stays up. We're going to go for some MP and uh, HP regen. Boom. 
And Mr. Nicole, you're just going to go for our defense and spirit again. So I'm not really keeping track of the defense and spirit and all those buffs. But I do want to make sure that everything is always up. So never be scared, guys, to reset over and over and over. Uh, basically, Nicole is just there to be able to give some MP if we do need so. And basically boost our stats. Uh, Folka is really, really good to make sure that we are not getting broken. And also... Uh, the fact that we are not getting any status ailments. So that's one thing that is also really, really good. Is she doing anything else right now? Nope, we're looking really, really good. So let's see. This is still broken. She is not. She's going to be able to take a lot of damage right now. So we're going to go here. Again, Rem. Cast some MP regen. Uh, MP regen. She's going to give MP back to the whole party. And just the fact that she uses her limit burst for that makes it really really good what i did is i gave her some stuff to increase her limit burst uh so you can cast that a little bit more often so we're gonna go reload we're gonna do the chain and let's see how much damage we can do right here with orlando and aurora fravia i'm telling you guys orlando is still a really 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 good unit he is nothing that you should sleep on uh the fact that he has that break to attack and magic is really 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 nice uh, so this is broken We're gonna go for another full break charm. I want to make sure that this thing stays up the whole time uh, What's up with our party? Are we looking good here? Let's grab siege art right here. So everything's pretty much up uh, We do have a lot of things. We have our dark resistance up. Yep. All right, so mister here We're gonna go for something easy uh, We're just gonna cast this for fun all right, so reduce damage taken for three turns. We're going to go for this. I want to see what this does. Basically, we're going to cast a 140% uh, 40 magic, uh, I think, damage reduction. Is it? Well, I think it's that. So let's go. So basically, I use the unit of choice ticket for my Nicole because I got to say, guys, he's one amazing unit. I love this unit so much. He is just really, really, really good. And right here, we're just going to heal because on the next turn... We're going to be able to kill a Seiko. Uh, guys, like I said, the things to really take care of in this fight, basically just make sure that the attack and magic is always broken. That's number one. Just make sure you bring a brave, uh, brave, a MP battery for your party, just in case Rem is actually really, really good in that one. And also the fact that she can cast AoE revive for the whole party is also really, really amazing. Uh, this party right here works well, so well together. And uh, yeah, just keep her broken and uh, the fight should be easier than expected. Boom, Rem, do your thing again, girl, because we're going to finish this fight. If you guys did enjoy this video and you find it really helpful or just helpful in general, please leave a like down below and subscribe for more content from your boy. I know I've been out for a couple of days, guys, but, uh, you know, uh, I find FFB not boring lately, but it's just in the state of... It's, it's trying to find itself. It's trying to find itself. Uh, but keep playing the game. We, uh, I do enjoy this game. I just wish that they would make things a little bit better. And also, if uh, they would listen to the community a little bit better. Because uh, you guys watching us playing the game, we are the community on this game. So, alright. You know what? I got two tickets. I'm not going to sing the song. Because I got two tickets to bed. Dies. So, we got two tickets. Let's finish this video and see if we can pull Aurora Fravia. Let's try our luck. Two tickets luck. Can we get a rainbow right now? Maybe not. We get a blue. I'm going to have another sip of coffee. Bam, bam. Libertus! Alright. You're not the one I wanted to see, but let's do one more ticket. RNG gods, are you there? Damn it! RNG gods, you failed me. Leopold! Nice! Actually, this guy, guys, get that TM, because for your tanks, this is actually really, really nice. HP, 
30% uh, on defense, 20% plus the wind resistance, 30% is actually really, really nice. On this note, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like down below. Let me know down, uh, let me know down in the comment section, how did you beat a Seiko and if it was a hard boss. And please, guys, subscribe for more content from your boy. On this note, have a wonderful day. I'm out. Peace.